If you're looking for a new SSD for, say, your new gaming PC, or you just want to upgrade your current one because it's full or too slow, then this video should help you out. So I'm going to run you through the different types of SSDs, the different connections they have, and give you some recommendations for the different sort of subcategories on which drive you should actually get and which one might be right for you. But first, a quick message from this video's sponsor, ASRock. ASRock's new B450 Steel Legend motherboards feature robust 4 plus 2 phase VRM with 60 amp chokes to support any Ryzen CPU you can fit in it. Of course you have polychrome sync RGB lighting as well as an M.2 heatsink and support for AMD Store MI tech. If you want to learn more about the boards and the rest of their features then you can take a look at the link in the description down below. Thank you to ASRock for sponsoring this video. We're going to start off with the budget SSDs first. If you want to spend the least amount of money and get the most performance possible this is where you'd head. Now, these drives tend to use the SATA connection, that is just the way that the uh, SSD talks to the rest of your computer, and in this case, these are 2.5 inch drives. Now, SATA uh, drives can actually come in the newer M.2 format, so do bear that in mind if you're planning on picking one up, but generally speaking, the 2.5 inch drives, the more standard style of drive that would fit in most laptops, for example, is generally a bit cheaper because they're a bit older, a bit more mass produced and stuff like that, so that's that's what I'm kind of looking at here. So with that said, what sort of drive would I recommend here? Well, it's pretty simple, the Kingston A400. These drives are incredibly cheap. They're not the fastest in the world. You're looking at about 230 megabytes per second on writes, which really isn't fantastic considering SATA SSDs and the high end can do five, 600, but it's still very usable, very good for a, a sort of a laptop upgrade kind of thing. And as I said, the price is incredible. You're looking at 26 pounds for a 240 gig SSD, and you're looking at like 48 pounds for a 500 gig. So really very impressive and definitely worth a look. If you want full SATA performance, maybe your PC is a bit old and doesn't support the newer M.2 format which can get you a lot faster speeds but you still want the best you can get, then the Samsung 860 EVO is where I would head. It's not the fastest SATA drive on the market, but it offers a fantastic balance between being incredibly fast, but also not too hideously expensive. It is about double the price of the Kingston A400, but you do get double the performance in reads and writes at over 500 megabytes per second each, so pretty impressive. When you move further up in the SSD market, you're gonna run into quite a lot of these, M.2 NVMe SSDs. Now, M.2 is the physical connector or connector type, whereas NVMe is how it talks to your PC. NVMe allows for incredibly fast speeds, up to three gigabytes per second in read and writes on the high end, so pretty impressive. Now the drive I recommend for the sort of budget NVMe category, which is actually kind of a new category, is actually the one that I've been waving for the last five minutes, the WD SN500. I did a review of it fairly recently and you can check that out if you're interested, but uh, suffice to say this is an incredibly impressive drive. It sells for basically the same price as that Samsung 860 EVO, but has more than three times the performance in reads and writes, and is obviously incredibly small and actually pretty awesome. So highly, highly recommended. Sadly, it only comes in 250 and 500 gig models right now, but they are launching a 750 and hopefully higher capacities in the future fairly soon as well. And finally, the high-end NVMe SSDs, the, the best of the best, the best SSD you can go out and buy right now. And for me, that that's actually the WD Black SN750. Now the one that I have on the table here is actually the one that's in my main gaming and editing PC, it's the SN700, but the 750 is the slightly newer version and is insanely fast. It's actually faster than Samsung's 970 Pro, which is kind of crazy to say, and actually sells for less money than that too, so makes it almost seem like a bargain. Now there is actually one honorable mention here that didn't quite fit into any of these categories, and that is the Adata SX8200 Pro. It's about 20 pounds cheaper than the black, uh, WD Black SSD, but still gives you pretty similar performance. So if you maybe don't want to spend all the money on an SSD, but you still want one of the better ones out there, then that is a great shout too. As 
always, links to everything that I've mentioned are in the description down below. If you want to check out pricing for these drives when and where you watch this, check out those links. I also want to thank Azrock for being this video's sponsor. If you want to check out their B450 Steel Legend boards, there's a link down in the description as well. And if you want to see these videos without any pre-roll ads, then you can check out the Patreon and subscribe to the ad-free tier and get these videos without any pre-roll ads. Otherwise, that is pretty much it. If you want to support the channel and keep me making these videos on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday basis, you can hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon, or check out the affiliate links in the description. They don't cost you anything to use, but massively help, help me out when you do use them. There's also hoodies and t-shirts like this one, or a load of other designs. There's plenty of videos over there, and otherwise, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, leave those in the comments down below, and we'll see you all in the next video.